these songs, you send these songs up before the Lord. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We We worship you, 
Praise the Lord. These are the announcements for March 31st. Um, our announcements are as follows. The clothing giveaway that was previously planned for Saturday, March 30th has been postponed for a later date. The brothers of ADECJC will be hosting a gospel concert featuring the five singing stars. This night of gospel singing will also be featuring our very own Pastor Silas Myers and Deacon Leo Reed. This program will start at 7.30 p.m. and will be held here at ADECJC. The 28th International General Assembly of Apostolic Believers Fellowship Conference will convene this year um, on May 2nd to 4th in Virginia Beach, Virginia. All the information on booking is posted on the church's bulletin board in the vestibule. However, the deadline to book the rooms at the discounted rate is Wednesday, April 10th. ADECJC will be having a men's retreat on July 19th through the 21st at the Lake House in Santee, South Carolina. The total cost for this retreat is $90 per person with the total balance being due by July 1st. Please submit all payment to either Deacon Leo Reed or through the church's cash app dollar sign ADECJC with a comment referring to the men's retreat. Please check out the church's bulletin board for future church invitations and events. Please pray for all who are on our prayer list, which is also posted on in the back on the bulletin board. Please govern yourselves according to the announcements. We will now take up our offering. Marvelous, beautiful day he has made. And we will rejoice and be glad because he brought us, praise God. We're going to ask you to stand, praise the Lord. And be directed by the ushers, praise God, in Jesus' name. The windows of heaven are open, and the fire is falling tonight. I've got joy, joy. Joy in my soul, since Jesus made everything all right. Oh, I've given my robe, oh, filthy garment. His heart gives her walk, we're in white. Windows of heaven are open. That is why I'm happy tonight. Windows of heaven are open. The fire is on tonight. I'm not joy, joy, joy in my soul. Since Jesus made everything alright, I've changed in my old empty garment. Praise the Lord. Let us look to the Lord. Turn to God, we thank you for the songs of praises. And we, most of all, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost, Father. In the precious name of Jesus. And Father, we ask you to bless the offering, bless the tithing. And Father, just bless your people, praise God, in their life, health, and strength. Hallelujah. We thank you for being able to come into the house of the Lord. Being our right frame of mind to say thank you. Oh, praise God, you have done so much for us. And we cannot express ourselves enough to give you the gratitude and the honor because you are so worthy to be praised. And we just want to say thank you today, Lord. And we pray that you have your way today, Lord. Oh, speak a word. We are needing the word today, Lord. To strengthen us. To help us along the way. That we might encourage one another. And knowing this is the way. The only way of holiness. And we thank you. 
for how you kept us and to continue to speak your word to our heart. We want to thank you. We want to take the time to say thank you for all that you're doing and going to do in these last and evil days, Lord. Oh, we ask you to continue to bless your people to stand in these last and evil days. Because we know you soon to come, Lord. And your reward going to be with you, Lord. So, Father, help us to prepare ourselves that we may see you in peace, Lord. We bless your name. We give you the praise and the honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. amen. Thank you, Dickie Reed, for that prayer. Again, this is a day we've never seen before. Let's give and praise God for yourself. Amen. The simple, simple song simply says, you made a way. You know, and we know in many situations, you know, sometimes we don't see a way. But God can make a way out of no way. You know, beginning, we ask you to join us in singing this song that is very familiar. Again, you can sing it for yourself and your individual. But nobody knows what God has delivered you from personally. So thank God for where he brought you from. Yeah. Man. Standing here, not knowing how we'll get through this test. But holding on to faith you know best. Everything we need, you supply. You got us in control, and you're watching us now. And when it looks as if we can win, wrap us in your arms and step in. And now we know that you, you made, made a way. way. When our back was, was against the wall, and it looked as if it was over, you made a way. And I'm standing here. Only because you made a way. You go walk through walls of the For miracles, there's nothing that's And we're standing here. Only because you made, you move mountains, you cause walls to fall with your power, perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible, and we're standing here. Only because you made, you move mountains, you cause walls to fall in your power, perform miracles, there is nothing that's impossible, and I'm standing here. Only because you made a way. 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 You You 
made a way. You made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Don't know how, but you did it. Made a way. Don't know why, but I'm grateful. 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 Only because you made, and I'm standing here. Only because you made, and I'm standing here. Only because you made a way. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand cup of praise. It's because he made a way. Praise the Lord. I don't know how, but the Lord, amen, he did it. Amen. We trust him. He made a way when there was no way. Amen. When we, amen, our way, amen, we, we ran at the end of our road, amen, but the Lord, he still made a way for us. Amen. We give him praise. Let's give God praise. This morning for making a way for us. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the Lord. Amen. We give him praise. Amen. For all that he is. All that he has done. And uh, we give him praise. Amen. For being in his house. One more time. Amen. We count it. An honor and a privilege. Amen. Praise God. Uh, he didn't have to do it. But thank God. Amen. He has been faithful unto us. Amen. And we give him all the praise on this morning. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For Deacon Reed. Amen. Thank God. Amen. For Ella Pelham. Thank God for Amen. Uh, Lady Tiffany. Amen. All the saints of God in the house of the Lord. We give God praise for you. So glad to see Tanya in the house of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Amen. Uh, Brother Washington, the Washington brothers, amen, brought uh, some family with them on today. Amen. We thank God for his sister, uh, Miss Juanita. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So we do, Juanita, uh, grateful that you're in the house with us on this morning. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. And uh, always feel welcome. Amen. Here at uh, Apostolic Doctrine uh, Evangelistic Church in Jesus' name. Amen. And we also thank God, amen, for his mother, Ms. Ellen Washington. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. She is a centennial. Amen. 103. Amen. She's a blessed woman. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And still uh, doing so well. Amen. We give God praise. Amen. For his blessings. Amen. And longevity. Amen. That is a blessing from the Lord. Amen. Uh, very few people uh, make it that far. Amen. So we thank God. Amen. That she is uh, doing well. Amen. And she is uh, with us. Amen. And uh, breaking that barrier. Amen. And we don't even get to uh, meet uh, too many amen in, in, in that way. Amen. But God is so good to us. Amen. We're grateful uh, for him today in Jesus name and all the wonderful people of God. Amen. Our praise team. Amen. We give God praise everybody in the house of the Lord. Amen. We thank God for you uh, today in Jesus name. Amen. We're going to go into the word of the Lord in the book of Acts, the 10th chapter. Acts, the 10th chapter. 
and we're going to read the 44th through the 48th verse. Amen. Acts chapter number 10, verse 44 through 48. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God. Thank God. Acts chapter number 10, starting at verse 44, and it reads, While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. And they of the circumcision which uh, believed were astonished, as many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. For they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. Then answered Peter, Can any man forbid water that these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Then prayed they uh, him to tarry certain days. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you, God, for all that you are, all that you have done. We thank you, God, for allowing us to be together today in the service. Oh, God, we praise you for, you for your presence and for your power that is among us, Lord. I pray now that you bless as we go into your word. Speak to our hearts and to our minds. Help us receive what you would have to say unto us, oh, God. And, God, we're going to give you praise, this glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. I want to speak this morning, man, when he changes you, amen, when he changes you. And I want to give a back down of the scripture and, and uh, not only the scripture, amen, but the, uh, the whole context of uh, what, is, what is happening in the world at this time, amen. Of course, Jesus, amen, has hung, he has bled, he has died, uh, he has uh, been resurrected, he has gone up. Uh, into glory, amen, and he has sent back his Holy Ghost, amen. The Holy Spirit has come uh, to be among the people, and uh, thus the establishment of uh, the church, amen. The church is born, the church is growing, the church is blessed, the church is uh, multiplying, great things are happening, amen, and, uh, and so there is this uh, great uh, going forth of the Spirit of God, amen, all because of what Jesus had done, amen, all because of the, the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, all because of the, the death, the burial, and the resurrection, amen. It was the purchase of the salvation of, of all men who will receive that salvation, amen. So, so it is made available, it is made available. Jesus, while he was here, and even throughout the Old Testament, it talked about that this would be a thing that would be available to the world. Amen. Any man or woman who would believe uh, this gospel could receive uh, this uh, great power. Amen. They could receive this Holy Ghost. Amen. They could receive this salvation that would come into the world. Amen. But to give you background, amen, this uh, initially falls among uh, the Jews. They are, uh, they are people uh, who are the, the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And this is how uh, it all begins. Amen. They are the people of promise. Amen. And, and as such, amen, as the Holy Ghost has come, this is the group of people that the Holy Ghost falls among it is it is this uh, it is this nationality it is this it is this bloodline that that has received this great salvation amen yet the scripture amen has let them know and, and Jesus let them know why he was here that is not just going to be for you it is going to be for anyone who will believe it be for those who are across the world amen it is for every body amen but again it begins here in in Jerusalem, it begins among the Jews. Now, now uh, the scripture lets us know, Amen. Early in this chapter, that uh, Peter uh, is hungry and he goes to the rooftop while uh, people are preparing 
a meal. And, and while he is up there, he falls into a trance. He, uh, he goes into this uh, vision, amen. He goes and, uh, and the Lord uh, takes him to a place. I don't know if you've ever been there, amen, but uh, uh, trance most time is you're not really, you're not really uh, asleep. And you're not fully awake. It is, uh, it is, and something begins to unfold before you. And, and, and as Peter is sitting on the housetop, this thing begins to unfold uh, before his eyes, something that he does not understand. Amen. What he sees is a, a cloth, amen, that is bound up at the four ends and, uh, and is let down before him. And as it opens up, there are uh, on this cloth, there are many different kinds of beasts, uh, four-footed animals, amen, beasts that, uh, that, that really uh, Jewish people don't deal with, amen. In the Old Testament, of course, we know that God gave them a diet and he gave them certain things they were not supposed to touch, certain things they're not supposed to kill, they're not supposed to eat. And so when the sheet is let down before him, what opens up, amen, again, is these animals, these these all manner of beasts, amen. And these are beasts that, that he uh, has never touched. These are beasts that he has never eaten amen these are uh these are uh, unclean animals and 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 in the vision god tells him to take it to kill it and to eat it take it kill it and eat it and and so so uh him in his in his blood amen in his in his teaching in his upcoming amen he knows uh this is not something that i deal with this is not something that i touch amen and and so this happens a few times amen it's taken up and is brought down and he tells the lord amen uh, uh i have never touched anything that is unclean amen and let's say there was some some perhaps some some uh I know I know shrimp have more than four feet, but there's some, maybe some shrimp on there and some uh, some other kind of animals that that they're not supposed to to deal with. Amen. And, and these things are uh, these are unclean again. And so uh, he does not understand uh, the vision. He does not understand what the Lord is putting before him. And, and 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 he tells the Lord, Amen. I, I've never touched this. And but but listen, saints, Amen. He put it in his mind. It was in his mind. He began to he he ponders it, Amen. He knows it's from the Lord, Amen. But he does not understand. Anybody ever saw something or experienced something from God you just really didn't understand? Perhaps a dream, perhaps a vision, something, uh, something that comes up in your spirit that you don't really understand, Amen. I encourage you, write it down. Amen. You may not understand it, but write it down. Amen. It may be for an appointed time. It may be for uh, a future understanding. Amen. And put it in your mind. Amen. Set it in your mind. Uh, even, even though I don't know what the full meaning of this is. Amen. I'm going to ponder it. Amen. So, so he, he is pondering it. Amen. And as, as such, amen, the Lord is also working on another end. Amen. How many of God will, will work with you? And but God will be working also on the other end. God begin to do something, amen, that, that you don't know even what's going on, amen. So you got to learn how to prepare yourself, amen, for what God is doing, even if you don't know and understand what God is doing on the other end, amen. See, sometimes God will tell you to do a thing, you don't understand why. Amen. You have already worked out in your mind what you think or what the, the outcome is going to be. Amen. But you don't know what God is doing on the other side. Because while Peter is going through this, amen, there's somebody who's been fasting already. Amen. For Neil, is, has, he's been fasting. He's been, he's been before God. Amen. He is not a Jew. He is a, he is a Gentile. Amen. He's been fasting. He's a, he's an honest person. Amen. He is seeking after God. He don't have understanding. And so God, God is now, he begins to speak to, uh, this man. He begins to speak to him and tell him the sin for uh, sin for one appear, Amen, and 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 inquire of him. I want you to. He gave his name. He, he let him know exactly what to do. So so God is working this thing out, Amen. That this this Gentile, Amen, is developing a tender heart toward God. This Gentile, amen, is the, has developed a place in his heart, amen, that where he is seeking after God, amen. So God is working on that end, while at the same time he's working on Peter. 
Come on, how many thank God he's working things out? Even things I don't understand, he's working things out. Amen. He is he is tenderizing somebody's heart. Amen. He is he is opening up somebody. We may wonder why the Lord want me to witness to somebody. You know, we don't know what God has already done in that heart. You don't know how God is already working on that mind. And you'll talk yourself out of that. You'll talk yourself out of a whole lot of things because you have rationalized. Amen. You, you think you have it already figured out and you, you, you mess over what God really wants to do. That's why we need to be open to God. We need to be obedient to the spirit of God. When he tells us to do a thing, we need to go ahead and do it. Even if we don't understand so, amen, so God is working on Cornelius, amen, this, this honest man. God is working on his heart. God tells him what to do, and, and, and he, uh, the Lord instructs him, amen. See, we, we think that God, I, I know we think that God won't speak to people who don't have the Holy Ghost. Let me briefly deal with that. If you got a person who's honest before God, God is able to speak to that heart. Amen. I, I don't know how they used to say it. Amen. But uh, it was it was uh, it was said that 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 if you don't have the Holy Ghost, God won't speak to you. Amen. But this man didn't have no Holy Ghost. But God still spoke to him. Amen. Why? Because he wanted God. He sought. Amen. Within his heart. Amen. He really wanted God and God gave him instruction. God gave him direct instruction, told him, told him where to send his servants. And he, so he sends these men out to a certain house to, amen, to inquire and ask that Peter would come to his house. Amen. God will speak to a sinner. I don't know if it, God here is not a sinner. Something on that line, amen, or, 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 or God does not speak to a sinner, amen. But, but, but this man, amen, he, he is seeking after God. God speaks to him. And, and he sins, and, and Peter goes to the house. And uh, when he gets to the house, amen, there are Gentiles there. And, and Peter said, I perceive that God is no respecter of persons. See, they're going into new territory because only the Jews to this point have received the Holy Ghost. But Peter's picking up God is doing something among these people. God is is moving among these people. Amen. See, 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 it's not about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's not about your natural bloodline, but it's about the blood of Jesus. Somebody say the blood of Jesus. It's not your bloodline, it's the blood of Jesus, amen, that, that, that comes to cleanse and to wash us. And so, so amen, he uh he speaks. Uh, to Cornelius and, and he uh, begins to uh, to get an understanding, amen, that there are people that are in the house waiting to hear what he has to say. What if, amen, what if uh, Peter uh, had that rejection, amen, no, uh, but, but he didn't have rejection because now he's coming to understand what the whole vision was about. He's beginning to understand, amen, what this meant when the sheep came down before him. And, and, he, and he, now he's putting things together, amen. You ever look back on something and didn't understand it, but you, you get to a place where you say, I see it now. I understand now what God was doing. I understand what God was showing me. I understand what God was, was saying. Amen. That's why you got to be open to hear what the Spirit is saying unto you. Amen. So he is open to it. Amen. And now he begins to preach to these people. These Gentiles, he begin to give them the gospel. Can you imagine, amen, this man, how God is now transitioning him. God is transitioning, amen, the world around him. God is transitioning the church, amen, from a Jewish only people to a people who are of different bloods and nationalities, different languages, amen. See, God has got to change somebody first. Well, it's not, I know it's not about a man, but I come to tell you God will always use a man. God will use a man. Amen. God will choose a man. God will use a man. And so God gives this understanding to this man. And there's a group that, tra that travels with him who also does not fully understand what is going on. But, but as, as Peter begins to preach, the Bible says, amen, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. Amen. This is where we pick up the day where we started reading. Amen. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. 
and they of the circumcision uh, which believed were astonished as many as came with Peter because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. They are amazed. They've never seen this before. They, they, even though Jesus told them this is what happened, even though the Old Testament talked about it happening, amen, they again had never seen this happen before, amen. Saints, I come to tell you, God is able and God will blow your mind. God will show you some stuff that you never seen before. God will do things that you never imagined what happened before. God, even though he might have told you, but yet you have never imagined it in your mind. You cannot perceive it. Why? Because has not unfolded. Amen. But God will use somebody and God will bless you that that thing will unfold before you. It will unfold. Amen. You, uh, you, you, you're, looking, uh, you're looking at somebody uh, who can believe. Amen. Uh, and you know, I, I told you I preached to trees before I preached to anybody. I preached to, to bushes before I preached to anybody. Amen. Never imagine standing before people uh, to speak and to and to, to, to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. But but God will show you. God will God will open up things to you. God will bless you. Amen. In ways that you never imagined. I come to tell us today, Amen. To to open up yourself to the Spirit of God. Let God speak to you, and not only speak to you, Amen, but do for you to come and to work in you. How many of God is able to work in you? Peter here becomes a trailblazer, amen. He becomes one, amen, who first brings this gospel, and, amen, and, and the Holy Ghost falls, amen. See, you got to let go of your prejudice. You got to, you got to be open to God, amen. And he, even after this, Peter is still prejudiced. Oh, I, yeah, he was the he was the great apostle. He was the he was the one who stood on the day of Pentecost and said uh, uh, unto them, "Amen, repent and and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ." Amen, and, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, he was the he was a spokesman. He was the one who stood, but he still had some stuff up in him. And God still used them, Amen. But but there, there was that stuff was still a hindrance to him. I believe that that the gospel was to go through him, Amen. But God had to go, and God had to get Paul, y'all. God had to get Paul, who didn't mind speaking to them Gentiles. Because even after even after even after they get the Holy Ghost, he, he said he he still asked the people with him, can can uh, can any man forbid uh, water? Or the, is it all right if we baptize them? He's still prejudiced. He's still, y'all know what he did. One time he was sitting with some Gentile saints, and but when the Jewish saints came around, Peter started acting a little funny. Anybody ever saw somebody, they, they was all right when, 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 when they were with certain people. When, when the other people came around, they started acting a little funny. You wonder what's happening? That's Peter, amen. Peter started acting funny when the Jewish saints start coming around. And he started kind of withdrawing himself, amen. First he's sitting down eating. He's having a conversation. He's having a good time, amen. But when certain people came around, he withdrew himself. He had some problems, y'all. Amen. How do God can still bless you even though you got some problems? Uh, but it, it might hold you back some too. It, it might hold you back some too, amen, but God, amen, he, he, we, we need to lay down our prejudice, amen, lay, lay down, amen, our looking at uh, people's appearance, amen, and thinking that we have them figured out, amen, God may have another plan, God might have another way, God may be doing something wonderful in them, amen, but because of you, or your prejudice, amen, you won't allow yourself to reach out, you won't allow yourself to be a blessing, See, we cling to certain people. We cling to people who are like us. We, we cling to people that we are familiar with, amen, that, that, that have the same kind of appearance, amen. Uh, uh, somebody come in here dressed a certain way, oh, uh, we treat them a certain way, amen. Uh, thank God, amen, for sister so-and-so. You don't know who that is. Because they look a certain way, oh, we thank God for the sister, or the brother, amen, they may have a certain appearance and, and somebody else might have a, a different kind of appearance, amen. We got to be careful on how we deal, amen. We got to be careful, amen. Even if somebody come in the house of the Lord drunk, 
as long as they're not acting out and being a disturbance, amen. But I've been in service, amen, when somebody came in drunk, amen, didn't smell right, and people just go ahead and escort them out. Let, let me show you out, amen. You know, you don't come in here drunk, but it's, you can come drunk, amen. But but don't 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 come, uh, you know, acting out, amen. Res, you can still re, be drunk and respect the house of the Lord, amen. I, I I've seen it, amen. People come in the house of the Lord, amen. You you've got to be able uh, to not to be uh, to judge and to and to prejudge, amen. They came for a reason. They came because of a need. They came because uh, the Lord perhaps is dealing with them even in their intoxication, amen. God is able to to clean them up. God is able to bless them. God is able uh, to 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 do a great work, amen, in their life, even in that state, amen. Say say unto the Lord, Lord, help me to be open to people. Amen. Help me, Lord. Amen. To to be receptive, uh, even of those, amen, who are not like me. Amen. Uh, it may not be your same color. It may not be your same nationality. Amen. Uh, it, it may be uh, uh, different things. Amen. Uh, uh, you, you got to know how to move. You got to you got to understand how to deal with people. Amen. You got to come in the right way. Amen. Peter was able to go among them and he preached the gospel unto them. Amen. And while he spake, the Holy Ghost came on them. Oh yes. Amen. Say, Lord, fill your house with all kind of people. Come on. Say, Lord, fill your house with all kind of people. Lord, give me influence with all kinds of people. Amen. Give me influence with all kinds of people. And I remember uh, even uh, in Columbia, amen, we were having service uh, in Columbia, amen. Somebody came uh, uh, in the service, amen, right at the end of preaching, uh, amen, obviously uh, disturbed, amen, obviously very upset. Uh, and uh, and 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 so we stopped, Amen. We stopped short, and we begin to minister to them, begin to pray for them, uh, begin to reach out for to them, Amen. And the saints was able to uh, to pray with this person, Amen, because we recognized there was a need. There was a need, Amen. Saints, you got to got to be able to to recognize, Amen. I believe in in the order, Amen. But I believe also that God is able to move in that. God don't move in chaos, but God will move in order. Amen. And as we ministered to him, amen, he felt better. Amen. He left the service. Amen. We went uh, went after him. Amen. Come to find out. Amen. He uh, he was planning to go kill somebody uh, for some reason. Amen. He was just so upset. He just wanted to come to church before he did it. Amen. He uh, and, and I'm telling you, amen. he had the gun in his waist in the church. Amen. And he, he, he said, man, I was going to and he showed, he, I was going to kill this guy, amen, whoever made him up so upset he was going to, to do this, amen. But perhaps, amen, we were able to stop that. Perhaps, amen, we were, in that we were able to, to minister unto him, amen. You've got to be willing, you've got to be able to minister in the season to anybody, amen. There's nobody above you. And there's nobody below you. You're dealing with a person. Amen. You may be saved, but you're dealing with a person. You're dealing with the creation of God. You're dealing with a soul. Amen. So, so I don't care how high a person may be uh, in, in society, no matter how high they may be in the world. Amen. You still have a ministry unto them. Come on, somebody. You can walk up to anybody and minister. Then you can also minister to anybody on the street. Amen. I don't care how low they may be in society. Amen. We have a, a responsibility and a power to minister unto them. Amen. So Peter is realizing here, amen, that God has no respect of a person. Amen. And so uh, he says in the 47th verse, can any man forbid water? that these should not be baptized, amen, which have received the Holy Ghost uh, as well as we, amen. And so so he's getting, uh, I feel like he's trying to feel out the people that's with him. Even though he knows, amen, this is the right thing to do, amen, he's feeling out, amen, can, can any man forbid water? Amen. What, what y'all think, what, what think we should do here? 
Amen. And he commanded them that to uh, to be baptized in the name of the Lord. Amen. And so so they are baptized. Amen. They received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Why? Because somebody was willing uh, to do it. Amen. They, he, he began to recognize, amen, the blood of Jesus. What Jesus did, amen, was greater than, uh, than his father's. It was greater than uh, anything that he had ever experienced before. Amen. And saints, I come to tell you, man, what we have is greater greater than what we are doing with it. What we have received is greater than what we can even imagine. And God will God will come along uh, with us and God will begin to unction us. God will give us a dream. God will give us a vision, amen, something that we could never imagine in our minds. And we, we push it away because we think it's just wishful thinking. We think it's, we think sometime it may be of the devil, amen. But, but I'll come to tell us, amen, when God give us something, uh, amen, we need to ponder it. We need to, to try to get understanding. Of it, amen. We need to we need to put it uh, in our hearts, amen. Write it down because, because perhaps God is trying to do something in us. Perhaps God, amen, is trying to provide for us. Perhaps God is trying to open up a door for us, amen. If you can just be open to what God is trying uh, to do, just be open, amen. It may be something you have never seen before, but God, even if I never seen it before, Lord, let me be the first. Come on, Lord, let me be the first. I'm open. I'm willing. I am I am just submitting unto you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Even if it's if it's in the scripture and I've never seen it before, amen. Don't you know if it's in scripture, it can happen for you, it can happen now. Oh, we imagine, oh, that was for them. That was for them. That was that was Peter and them. That was uh, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was Peter and them that, that when he when Peter walked by people, people got healed. And the shadow went over them, amen. And and and, and so so we, we imagine what well, that's wonderful, amen. That's that's what God did through Peter. But I, I come to tell you, amen, that's not limited to him, amen. It is it is not limited uh, to a certain person, uh, but it is to him and, and she who is open to what God wants to do. And so if God uh, commands you to do a thing, you ought to do it. If God tells you to pray for somebody, you ought to do it. If God tells you to intercede for somebody, you ought to do it. Amen. If God tells you to speak a word to somebody, then you ought to do it. You gotta, you gotta submit your flesh. You gotta open your, your spirit unto the Lord. And allow God to speak to you. Allow God to, to work through you. Amen. And then you got to you got to learn how to try Jesus. Amen. You got to learn how to try the spirit of God that is on the inside of you. You, you never go anywhere if you never try. So you never go anywhere if you never try. Peter thinks he 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 steps out. He goes among the Gentiles. He goes among these people who they have no dealing with. He says, God will bless you if you're able to step out. God will bless you if you're able to walk in obedience. God will bless you if you take him at his word. God will bless you. He'll open up doors for you that you'll never imagine. Amen. If you would just, amen, go ahead and trust him. Lord, I'm going, I'm going to trust you in this. Lord, I'm going, I'm going to step out on this. If you, if me, if you push me to do it, God, I'm going to do it at your word. You don't know what kind of go doors God is going to open when you step out. You don't know what God is going to do until you step out. You know how God is going to work a thing out. You don't know how your understanding is going to come until you step out on the word of God. Amen. God will usher you. God will push you. Amen. Anybody felt the push of God on your life? So you got too much to sit on it. You got too much to not allow yourself to go forth. You've got too much, amen, to, uh, to, to, to hold back uh, the things of God that is in your life. God wants you to speak. God wants you to do. God wants you even, uh, even if you don't feel like you have a certain gift, I can still lay hands on somebody. What if they, what if they stay sick, amen? They're sick, if you didn't lay hands on them, they're sick if you, if you don't lay hands on them. 
But you, you know what? You need to try. You need to test it. You need to step out on it. Why? Because you have the power to do so. Amen. You, you're walking in power that you have not even realized. They even said it about your brain. Now they've debunked that now, but they used to say you, you only use 10% of your brain. Well, maybe they debunked it, but I don't think we use everything that we have. I really don't. I don't think we use all the mind and the brain that we have. Amen. We got to learn how, amen, to go into. You got to, you got to learn how to, uh, to, to, to cultivate what is, what is in that mind. Amen. You, you got so much, uh, you, could, you could memorize, but if you, don't, if you don't practice that, you will never get to that place. But you know what? People who challenge their mind and they challenge their bodies, amen, they push, to, they push past. Amen. They, they go beyond. Why? Because they try it. I come to tell you, when God begin to move on you, you better begin to step out on the things of God. God is shifting you. Can I speak as your pastor? God is shifting you. God is wanting to shift us. But we got to be willing to step out on the things of God. Those of you who are in business, amen, you came to some, to some obstacles that said you, you're not going to overcome this. You might as well give up. You might as well quit. I think I spoke to you recently, man. We've never been this way before. And when you've never been some way before, amen, you've got to be a trailblazer. You've got to, you got to be open, able to open up a way. You've got to be able to, willing, to, able to step out on the things of God like you never have before. Amen. That's what God is trying to get us. God is trying to push us. God is trying to push me. And I'm telling you, God begin to change you. Everybody stand on your feet. You, you uh, have to try him. You have to try him. Thank you, Lord. I want you to lay hands on yourself or somebody else. You know what they're going through. You know what they're going through physically. Thank you, Jesus. You know what you're going through physically. Thank you, Lord. So when God begins to change you, he'll make you uncomfortable. He will make you uncomfortable. And Peter and all these disciples sitting around Jerusalem. Wonderful things are happening. But they're kind of comfortable. Until Jesus says, go to Cornelius' house. And he begins to preach. And the Holy Ghost falls. Thank you, Lord. God has, op has opened up the church to a whole new horizon. A whole new paradigm has opened up. Thank you, Jesus. So God will push you. God will challenge you. And in that challenge, you become uncomfortable. And the temptation is to retreat back to the comfort zone. But thank you, Jesus, for the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, that is able to push us, and not only push us, but is able to transform and to change us to a whole nother paradigm, open us up to a whole new world, hallelujah. 
There's healing in your hands. There's a word in your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. There's anointing in your spirit. There are dreams and visions that you've never been opened up to. But God will open them up to you from this day forward. I declare to you, God will open them up, from, up to you from this day forward. God is going to increase your dreams. God is going to in, increase your, your visions. God is going to increase your influence and your reach and your touch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We want to pray for the healing. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for the new paradigm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know people doing Resurrection Sunday today. Amen. We don't come for that with that kind of message. We come, we come to let you know that God will raise you up to a whole nother level. Come on, somebody. Say, Lord, raise me up to a whole nother level. Lord, raise me up to a whole nother level. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, as we are laying hands on ourselves, laying hands in intercession for somebody else, laying hands on somebody else, God, in the name of Jesus, we're praying for your touch. We're praying for your healing power. We're praying for deliverance in the name of Jesus. We're praying for your Holy Ghost to fall. We're praying, God, for your anointing. Oh, God, to break yokes right now in the name of Jesus. God, we're praying for deliverance and power to be made manifest among us. Lord, we're praying, oh, God, for your anointing to go forth. Oh, God, we're praying for breakthrough right now, God. We're praying, oh, God, for your release among us in the name of Jesus. We're praying for a fresh baptism of your Holy Ghost. We're praying, God, for a fresh anointing of your power among us. We're praying, God, that you would do a great work right now. God, we're praying in the name of Jesus for your power and your strength to be made manifest. God, we're praying that you will challenge us, that you will push us to the fullness of what you have placed on the inside of us. God, we're praying, oh God, for the release of the anointing in the name of Jesus. God, we're praising you for it. We are blessing you for it. We are thanking you for it, God. And we are claiming the victory right now in the name of Jesus the Christ. Come on, let's just worship the Lord. Come on, when he changes you, come on. When he changes you. When he changes you. Hallelujah. I feel God shifting me. I feel God shifting you. Come on. Lord, hallelujah. When God changes you, you'll speak to anybody. When God changes you, you'll bless who God says bless. When God changes you, you won't walk in fear, but God will open up a way. Come on, somebody. Come on, just worship him right now. Come on, just worship him right now. Come on, when the Lord changes you. Hallelujah. Lord, shift me. Lord, bless me. Lord, increase me. Lord, strengthen me. God, renew me. Oh, in the name of Jesus. God, restore me. Yes, Lord. God, sanctify me. Cleanse me. Wash me. Make me whole, God. In the name of Jesus. Create in me a clean heart. Oh, God. Renew a right spirit with him, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Show me your ways. See me your way, God. Show me what you want me to do. Teach me what you want me to do, God. Open up a whole new way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Be it done by your power. Be it done by your power. Be it done by your power. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'll say yes, Lord. And I'll say yes, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. I'll say yes, Lord. Whatever it is, Lord, I'll, I'll, I'll say yes. Thank you, Jesus. I don't understand it, but yes, Lord. I don't have it all figured out, but yes, Lord. I don't see it all, but yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'll say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And before we go, I speak healing to those who are in need today. Because of pains you have been able to do what you need to do. But I pray for freedom in the body. In the name of Jesus. Freedom in the body. Healing in the body. So I can do what I need to do. So I can do what I need to do. Healing in the body. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to dismiss in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. But if you're viewing, reach out to us. Amen. We are. We will baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. We will work with you until you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Reach out. Reach out to him. Because of what he has done, it has been provided for us. In Jesus' name. We're going to dismiss. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for this timeless opportunity that you brought us together, Lord. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for the worship. Thank you for the, the uh, praise, Lord. Thank you for your word. I pray, God, that as we leave this place, God, let your presence be with us. God, we ever give you glory, honor, and praise. These things we ask, these praises we give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let every heart say amen. Amen. Reach somebody. In Jesus' name.